for us, we just thought, hang on, they don't need to do this. They're tenth in the league, but I think this is the integrity of the championship. And they actually wanted to, 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 to really win the game, and get back into the game, and it felt like they they actually wanted us to go down. So leading into the Blackburn game, we didn't know what we would need, but we went out to win it. Now, Blackburn were a side that didn't have anything to play for, had some really good players and were playing a certain way. Of, they were kind of experimenting a little bit. They were one of the first, not one of the first, but one of the ones to implement the box. As you can see, they're the blues here. And for us going into a game, needing to win it, or needing something or whatever, it was a real tough game for us and one that we that we thought and deliberated over for so so long. We believed that the fullbacks go so high they occupy your fullback, so you can't cover around, get inside. Then they played two real high and narrow tens, which caused your centre midfield players and your two centre halves real problems. So for us. We'd have preferred someone to go 4 4 2, know exactly what we're going to get, but we didn't. Then we spoke to the players, said, Look, these are the problems we're going to have. And I think we need to change. And the player said, No, we've we've been really good. We've got um, 13 points from eight games. We've kept more clean sheets in the last nine games than we have all season. We've not conceded much. We will we, we will cope with this. So we work tactically on how we normally do. And I didn't feel comfortable. I didn't feel comfortable going into the game. So the day where we don't normally work tactically, I, I said to the player, I said, look, we're going to go with what you feel, but just in case, this is what we're going to do. So we'll go on to that in, in, in a minute in the plan B. So we work normally in terms of how we did mid block, aggressive in terms of what we do, deny space, not, not allow them um, to dominate us and not keep people outside and all the good principles we 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 had done. And then for 20 minutes, they, 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 they just dominated the game. But what we did, we scored, we scored from a set play, um, but we were getting dominated. So that enabled me then to make a bold decision. And I said, we have to change. Now we'd worked on this. We'd gone to plan B if this weren't happening, but what we did then was we matched them up all over. We won it up. We were pretty much felt that if we drew the game, we were safe anyway. So we said, let's contain, let's really contain this, match them up, be aggressive in what we do. And that's what we did. So on about 20, 22 minutes, we changed and we matched them up. Now we picked a side to be able to do this, which may seem strange, but we then changed our, um, we had a back four, we, we matched them up with um, with a box in, in, in midfield so that two midfield players can take the two tens. Our two tens take their two midfield players. And then we just asked our centre forward to take care of, 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 of their um, of their centre halves. Now, the game was, was a poor game, but we ended when it was three in a lead. So we won it up. Um, then they... We, 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 we scored uh, again before half time and then scored a penalty just after half time. This then, they went from literally being the most expansive in possession side to the most direct side in history. So it, 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 it caused us a different problem. So we then had to change, go back to what we were, were, go, were going back. They brought on. Gallagher, Bradon Diaz, they put centre off up top and really went for it very, very direct. Now, for us, we just thought, hang on, they don't need to do this. They're 10th in the league, but I think this is the integrity of the championship. And they actually wanted to, 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 to really win the game, get back into the game. And it felt like they, they actually wanted us to go down. So they went really, really direct, got a goal, got two. So we were three, two on 75 minutes. And now the momentum had really changed. So we'd had a, a centre half called Matty Pearson, who now plays for Huddersfield. He was a warrior, by the way, if anyone knows him, that had got injured in training from a bad tackle from Callum McManaman. Um, he was told he was out for six to eight weeks. He'd been out eight days and he came to me and said, two days before the game, 
I want to be involved. Adrenaline will get me through. I mean, it's, it, it's unfathomable. So I said, it, it, the medical people told me not to do it. But I said to him, okay, if you want to do it, we'll do it. So we put him on the bench. And on 75 minutes, we were getting bombarded. We couldn't handle the physicality. So I put him on and he played. And we saw out the game 3-2. So we went on the 51 points. 47 would have kept us up. We, we ended up in 19th position and so on. And then afterwards, Matty was at our after, after it wasn't a party as such, and, and was in his full kit because he literally couldn't take his boot off because it had blown up to, to such a level. And that was the group we had. Matty had come through us, through the leagues. Um, it meant so much to him. And that was the group we had. That was epitomised everything about Luton at the time, the desire to stay in the championship, the desire to stay on track, the desire to do things, to push yourself, to push boundaries. And that was the group we had. <laughs>